Hello, I'm Karen Algersma getting ready for the 152nd Highland Games. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Daphne Good talks to the city of Duncan about one of their most precious resources. And Social Media Camp 2015 is coming. And we find out all the details. All that and much more on Go Island. Do you like my Highland dancing? I know, I stink at it. But I'm gonna get better uh, just from hanging out with y'all today. Highland Games, just around the corner. Jim, I understand that this actually is the oldest running festival on the West Coast? That's true, it's been running continuously since 1864. It'll be the 152nd Victoria Highland Games Celtic Festival next weekend. Unbelievable. Now, behind us you see the beautiful Craig Flower uh, farmhouse. This is actually where you guys are uh, hanging out now. This is where your office is. Yeah, that's true. The Victoria Island Games Association is now managing uh, the Craig Flower Manor. The schoolhouse is being managed by another local society. That's fantastic. But where will the games be? I just don't want to confuse you because I know you see this and you think, where's the games? Where will the games be held? The games are at Topaz Park, right down in Victoria and it's a beautiful venue and uh, it'll be the 10th year that we've been there. And this year we're expanding to three days so we're gonna include the holiday Monday and we're extending hours on Saturday and Sunday. There, there's so much to do. It really, I went online and checked it out and it, it, it was overwhelming. Give people sort of the idea of what they'll experience if they come and participate in this year's games. Well, they're gonna get all the traditional Scottish culture, which will be Highland dancing, pipe bands, heavy events. That's where the big, strong athletes toss the caver. Oh yeah, baby. And the hammer, all those things. But we also have uh, the Celtic side. So we've got Irish dancing, we've got uh, sword fighting, falconry, we've got music, Celtic music, all day long, all three days. It's gonna be fantastic. If you do go to the website, you can find out all the different events that are happening, whether you go for an afternoon, all three days, or just one day, there really is something for everyone. And we're gonna we're gonna meet some of the uh, the other people participating, some dancers, and of course a bag piper. Uh, but first, water, it is such a precious commodity. And the city of Duncan knows this only all too well. Daphne Good with that story. We all want to celebrate the men and women who work in our public works, and there's lots of ways to do it. You can go to their website, download coloring sheets, find out all the activities, and of course, it's the third week of May, so make sure you participate. Also, make sure that you head out to the Highland Games, May long weekend at Topaz Park. The bagpipes, they get me every time, but when this guy plays them, I'm kind of like goosebumps on steroids, because you are <laughs> one of the best, uh, well, you are apparently the best in the Pacific Northwest. Tell me about the title you just won. Uh, I recently competed in the, the BC Pipers Indoor Meet yep. in April, and I was lucky enough to, to win the, the top Peabrook Prize, which is the, the ancient music of the pipes. But what's going on throughout the weekend that they can participate in in order to get the most of their pipe experience? Well, there's solo piping and drumming competitions on Sunday morning. It goes uh, kind of throughout the day with pipe bands and the mass bands at the end of the day, which is always great to see. And uh, SFU pipe band will be here once again. They're one of the top bands in the world. So it's great to come out and just have a listen and, and get a taste of uh, what the pipes really sound like. Social media camp. That's right. Imagine packing up your tent. No, not your tent, not your sleeping bag. You're going to need a smartphone, an iPad, a laptop, and uh, a whole lot of fun because the social media camp is coming to Victoria. Social media camp is coming up. It's the weekend after the May long weekend. 
because the May long weekend, the Highland Games are going on, and y'all going, I know you are. Um, I'm going to social media cab, so I hope I see you all there. Um, please go to their website, because some of the speakers that are coming are world-renowned. Well, all the speakers are phenomenal. I am so excited about this year's social media camp. Why? Because they're talking about video contenting, and I'm all about video. And I'm really about videoing big guys throwing big things. Yeah, the Highland Games. There's dancers, there's bagpipers, but there's more. What else is there, Aaron? Well, we're gonna throw the heavy stuff. First is a little bit of history behind the games themselves, yeah. right, the heavy events. Um, you know, they started in, in the rural areas in Scotland. Uh, the villagers would come together for their fe fall festivals or whatever, and it was just, it was macho. Mm -hmm. Got to compete. So they used a lot of implements or a lot of things that they had around, right? Whether it's a tree, like the caber, um, or heavy stones, hammers for using in the field, um, and stuff like that. So it's just a continuation off of that tradition. <sighs> come on out, we'll throw, you come out and catch the fun. We have to take a very quick break, but go nowhere, because when we come back, Dan Khan is heading over the Malahat to Mill Bay to find out why that community is so unique and special. Highland Games, it's coming up May long weekend. This is such an incredible uh, uh, three-day event. And one of the best things is these, what do you call them, heavy sports? This heavy. one is a very heavy hammer, actually. Okay. This is the Scottish hammer, and okay. the object of this is to stand with your back to the throwing area. Okay. Give yourself two, three, maybe four swings of the hammer. Okay. Staying relaxed, your arms nice and straight. Okay. And the object is to throw it as far as you can, that way, staying stationary. Okay, so uh, give me, show me how, how to do this now, okay? okay? So almost like yep. overhand, Okay. the other way. Oh, yeah. There you go. That one. Almost like a golf club. Golf oh, club. okay, yeah, There you yeah. go, okay. nice, and choke it up like that. Okay. Keep your arms straight. Okay. Keep your hips stable. Okay. Knees bent. All right. And just think of a hula action, like so. <laughs> Twirling head. <laughs> so you get a head start, you can start over here. <laughs> This is so heavy, I can barely pick it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have to take a very quick break, but when we come back, Paul Ballstein's gonna keep us healthy, and hopefully I'm gonna get this thing off the ground. This is, <laughs> I can't even lift it. We're going to talk about the Braemar stone. Okay. This is a large stone that you throw from the standing position. You don't move your feet at all. I've on got this a one. small one. Okay. Yep. The object is keep it up in your chin like this. Yep. Keep your arm up. And what you want to do is go down nice and slow. And then you want to spring up with as much force as possible and throw it out that way. Kind of like a shot put, hey? Almost like a shot put, okay. yes. But your feet stay stationary. Okay. Well, make sure that you check out the Highland Games May long weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It is going to be unbelievable this year. Uh, we will see you all there, Topaz Park. All right, ready? One, two, three. You beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J. 